Now we're going to focus on the interoperative management of this hypertensive patient. The patient is brought into the OR and you quickly place an arterial line pre-induction. Apart from the standard ASA monitors, are there any other monitors you would like apart from the arterial line that you just placed? The patient's placed onto the OR table and while she's lying flat, the patient begins complaining that she feels as though she's drowning. As the patient continues complaining that she cannot breathe, what are your obvious concerns at this time? The obvious concerns at this time are the patient's uncontrolled hypertension, the patient is likely in decompensated heart failure, and the patient may be experiencing myocardial ischemia. The patient likely has an imbalance between the myocardial oxygen supply and myocardial oxygen demand. What are your goals for the induction of anesthesia for this particular patient? Your anesthetic goals for the induction of anesthesia for this particular patient are centered around hemodynamic stability. So you want to avoid any further increases in blood pressure and heart rate. You want to treat the pre-existing hypertension. At the same time, you want to avoid hypotension, tachycardia. Our goal is to avoid myocardial ischemia and any further deterioration in the cardiac status.